Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to my shop. This is my WS2812B individually addressable LED strip. Currently running in single color mode, as you could do with a non-addressable strip, where you set the color for the entire strip all at once. But if you hang on a second, the strip will switch to the next mode, which is rainbow mode, where each LED can be any one of 64,000 different colors. With the camera being as far away as it is, you can't see the up-close detail of the rainbow pattern, so hold on for the subsequent effects, where it gets a little more obvious. Like this theater mode, where I'll walk little sections of 6 LEDs and 12 blank spaces across a color wheel, and shift, it just walks them along left. I'm using 144 pixel per meter strips here, so the sections of on and off are larger than you'd normally guess. Here you can see a color shifting meteor emerge on the left hand side. The meteor trail looks great in person and not so great on video, although the meteor head actually glows better on video, so that's a trade off. Should make it all the way across and back before it jumps to... This Christmas light uh, twinkle mode. It simply turns on and off a few selected lights and then clears them every few seconds. The only interesting thing going on programmatically here is that the colors are random, but they're always generated fully saturated, so you get what I refer to as the Christmas lights, or the candy colors. And here is a single bouncing ball, which, when it makes it all the way to the left, should break into three. This is really using a simple kinematics formula with the gravitational constant uh, set to negative 9.81, and it looked great on the first compile, so I just left it alone after that. Soon we switch to six balls total, three from each side. Whenever a ball runs out of energy and settles, I give it a little kick and randomly select a new color for it. The balls may appear to switch sides, but that's just a convenient illusion. And this is my favorite effect, the flame effect. If you look at the base of each flame, you may be able to see white sparks igniting randomly to start the fires, and with each frame, I then simply cool, diffuse, and push the pixels out towards the center. A heat map table converts my internal temperatures to a color ranging from cool dark reds to yellow up through white hot. Sometimes the longer this one runs, the better it looks. When you cycle back to it, it actually keeps its heat table, so it picks right up where it left off. Sometimes if it runs too long, it flames out a bit, but it's all random. Actually, since I never seed the random number generator with a time value, it's actually the same sequence each time, but the sequence is internally random. And I'll let it run for a little while before I pop out again to take the obligatory clickbaity thumbnail.